Good day. Today we're going to demonstrate how to resolve connection errors when using Windows Admin Center to uh, manage a variety of servers and clients. If you're operating in uh, an environment that does not include AD integrated DNS in an Active Directory Microsoft domain, um, working in a local workgroup means that you need to create uh, name and IP address associations. We're going to use the hosts command. Here we have a standard server that's running in a virtual machine with virtual box and it's sitting on an IP address of 192.168.1.12 and no matter how much we try to add it and use the IP address directly it throws errors. Um, on our local machine uh, we have an IP address of 192.168.1.11 and so what we're going to do is um, open up notepad and post some entries with names and address associations in the hosts file both on the local host and on the virtual machine. On our virtual machine if we enter the command notepad .exe and then we navigate to the Etsy directory within the drivers directory within the system32 directory within the windows directory and we change the file of types to all files and notice there's a hosts file that we can modify to add a name and IP address association and so we're going to enter a new line hit the tab key and enter the IP address for our host so that our virtual machine can see the host by name. And we're going to do the same on the other side so that the host can see the virtual machine by name. So our address for the local machine is .11 and the host's name in this case is ThinkPad1. We're going to save this and then we're going to do something very important, we're going to uh, use ipconfig flush dns, for, space forward slash flush dns, to remove any negative um, associations or negative results from previous attempts to connect or to ping. And uh, I should, at this point, if the host's file is correct, be able to ping ThinkPad one just by the name so I'm sitting on 12 I'm trying to ping 11 but I want to be able to work with names in the commands that are important for Windows Admin Center and you see that the host file does its job and renders the IP address of ThinkPad so now when I'm working commands for ThinkPad as a trusted host um, basically it knows who that is and that's important in the early stages of configuration both for remote server administration tools RSAT and for Windows Admin Center. We're going to do the same thing on the host side now. I'm going to open up Notepad and administ as an administrator. Uh, when I ran it before on the virtual machine on the server I was using a, a command prompt that had administrative rights. So it's very important that you run Notepad on the host as admin. And then we're going to open, and again, we navigate to the uh, Windows System 32 drivers Etsy. We change the type of file. We open hosts, and now we enter a new line so that ThinkPad1 will know who standard server is. 192.168.1.12 is the standard server 
one address. I'm going to save this. And now I'm going to flush DNS on the host. And if all goes well, I should be able to ping standard server one. So we want the name to work because if the IP address and name associate, then a lot of the features and functionality of the management environment and our Windows Admin Center will work. So, and there you see we have a working name and address association. So at this point, I should be able to add. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and close. Uh, I've also found sometimes that Windows Admin Center works better in Edge as opposed to Chrome. So one thing I'm going to do to complete the troubleshooting process is to change my association for um, for apps for browsing just for the time being to Edge. And so now when I load up uh, Windows Admin Center, it'll launch Edge. And what I want to do is add a server. And at this point, I'm going to enter the server name. It's very important enter the server name and not the IP address. I'm going to wait for it and as soon as I have a positive connection through that hosts file I can use my Windows account on the host but that's not going to work for the server I'm trying to connect to so I'm going to use another username and uh, I'm going to pin that uh, user account name to the server the local account to the server it belongs to. So it's on standard server one. And uh, I set up a spare administrative account for maintenance purposes. And I'm going to enter the password. Nice complex password. I'm going to add these with credentials. And at some point, our list will change. Now you see, instead of managing, this is another common source of misfire. So oftentimes people add the system that they want to manage with Windows Admin Center, but they're managing it with the local administrative account from the host and not from an administrative account on the system uh, they're managing. So at this point I connect. And if I have a successful result, I can basically look at and manage my server using Windows Admin Center. This concludes our uh, troubleshooting steps to resolve misfires for Windows Admin Center. Uh, please feel free to host, uh, post comments or questions. And uh, you can reach me uh, for help at um, T. Christian Kentop at gmail.com.